Hi everyone, this is Mehmu Sheikh and from past few videos I am working on developing a cloud application using Java Swings and MySQL Server. In my last video I completed the functionality of setting up user input validations for each and every fields of my cloud application. Ok so now in this uh, video I will discuss how to display an error message or an warning message saying like or like uh, already existing okay so if i try to submit a record which is already been stored inside the database which is already been present then i should show them appropriate message like this record is already exist okay so suppose i want to suppose i have a usn called as 101 already stored inside my student table and now again if i if i try to store the usn with the same usn number which is already been present in the table then it should display me appropriate message okay so now let me just see what will happen if i try to enter the same number which is already present okay so now let's just type akash okay Let's say just enter dummy numbers. Okay. Okay, and then okay. Now let's click on save. Okay, so it, now you can see it's displaying data saved successfully. Okay, so now let me just come to my table. Okay, now let's refresh the table and now you can see now we are having two records with the same usn okay this should not be happen okay so for uh, avoiding this kind of situation we need to first search inside our table whether the usn which i'm trying to insert is already present in the table or not we need to make a search on our table okay in that search if we found that record which we are trying to enter again then it should display an appropriate message like already existing okay if it doesn't present in the table then uh, then it should save that record should get saved inside the table okay uh, so now let me just come to our project okay so let me just close this okay so for this i need to create a function okay like public boolean okay searching okay so I, ha I have created a function with the return type boolean okay and now i will create a string okay and then i will create one more boolean variable as chk to check whether that particular usn is present in the table or not okay so initially i will just set this boolean variable to false okay and then i will then at the end i will i will return this boolean variable okay to the calling function okay now i will create type try and catch okay and then exception system dot our dot print ln okay and now we need to write the query insert sql equals to okay we need to write a select query for this select usn we need to select the usn whichever usn uh, the user will going to enter inside that text box we need to check for that usn inside our table okay select usn from our table name is exam table name is student okay and database name is exam okay our table name is student select usn from student where where our usn field 
is equals to okay plus plus j text field dot j text field one okay dot get text okay so now the whatever value i'm going to enter inside my j text field one i'm getting that value and i'm passing that value to the usn uh, to check whether that usn is present in the table or not okay so i have written it uh, written a query now i will write a result equals to statement object dot execute query okay okay wait here okay dot execute query okay and then we have to pass the sql okay so now it's displaying me an error because i need to import our result set result set here at the top result set okay so now we need to import this okay let me just click on it and then we need to import java.sql.result set okay so now that error will no longer be there okay so now let me just come back here and let me just put a semicolon and now i will make a while loop okay result dot next okay and then i will store that data okay result dot get string okay and then i will pass the first index of the table okay so now okay i have written a while loop okay so after the catch I will again type an if condition if m dot equals dot equals ignore case okay j text field one dot get text okay now i will set my check boolean variable to true okay so i will i will explain you this co uh, this code in full detail okay so now let's just save it okay so now here first at the at the very beginning i have set a string variable m okay so i have created this string variable m for holding all the usn which i will find inside the database okay inside the table okay right now i am having these seven records in my table so i have created a variable m to hold the all these variables no, sorry all this data okay so now i have set a boolean variable check okay to check um, whether i am having uh, the data which i am which i want to whether i am having the uh, data in the table or not okay suppose i am entering one not one then i will check whether that one not one will present in that table or not okay so it will return a value of either zero or one okay so that value this boolean variable will going to hold okay so now uh, next i have created a try catch block okay so now here you can see i have written down a query as select usn from student where usn is this one okay so here here i have enter the reference of the text field okay so next i am running a while loop okay why i am running a while loop because i want to iterate to all the result set present in the table okay so whatever result set will be coming uh, data will be returning from the table i am going to iterate i will be iterating that data and i will return i will store the data inside this variable m okay and now here at the end i am checking whether the value to which i am checking is equal 
or not okay so it will return let me just show you this one first okay system dot out okay copy this just here and just put m here okay and now we need to call this function searching function in before our inside our save function okay if okay here just cut it out put it here okay now just save it and let's run our application okay now I'm going to enter the same register number usn let me just see okay so it's okay username field is required okay so, okay okay here i have set the validation so i need to put the names amitabh okay 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 and then 80 okay so now let me just click on save okay so now you can see it's returning me 101101 okay because that 101 number is present in two places here okay now let me just refresh the table you see uh, that record didn't get saved because we have set the um, we have here inside this function okay we have set this condition okay uh, so now let me just that message didn't displayed you because i have not written else condition here okay so i will just copy this put it here this should get changed to already exist okay just save it okay now let me just close this one and let me again run this project okay now again um, i will enter the same register number okay atul okay t t 80 20 and then 80 okay so now inside the table 101 number is present in two records okay uh, so now it will display these two usns okay so now let me just click on save and it will display me an already exist message okay because that 101 is already present in the table previously uh, before writing down the code for already exist uh, it had saved that record 101 but now uh, it but now it's displaying me and messages already exist okay so now you can see 101 101 two numbers are displaying here that means here i have printed those numbers inside here inside the while you can see i have it i have printed i have been, i have uh, printed these numbers okay so this variable will hold all the uh, numbers which we are trying to check okay so now and here get string one means column number okay so here usn is present in the first column see usn starts from the first column and we are checking for the usn in an inside our table usn exists in the first column that's why i have, writ I have written one as a column number okay now at the end here i will check since this m will hold all the match numbers okay so now I'll just okay let me just run it again okay i will now i will enter 120 usn okay 120 anita okay now let's click on save so it's displaying already exist because 120 is already exist in the table see now it's displaying that 120 number okay because here i have 
mention that I have, I have printed that value okay so since 120 is present in the table that's why it has taken that value from the it has searched that value in the table and it had taken that value from the uh, pick out that value from the table and it's printed here okay so now m holds the value of 120 okay now here why i have written this if condition because i'm checking uh, the value which was who which was present inside inside this variable m and the value which user will going to, will be entering inside the text box is same or not if both are same then it will return a value of either true or false that means it will return a value of either 0 or 1 okay if it finds that value inside the table then it will return a value of 1 that's what i am doing here okay since i have found this value in the table that's why i have set the value of chk boolean variable to true that is 1 okay so now it has written a value of 1 to here our save function okay so now i have set a condition here okay so if the value returned from that searching function is 1 then it will display this already exists message but i have reversed it here okay so i have put a exclamation mark which convert the value of 1 to 0 okay so if we didn't find any record with the same number in the database then it will execute then it will insert that data otherwise it will display an already existing message okay so now the, our searching function now it has returned a value of one okay to our searching to our co function now here i have put an exclamation mark okay not one okay so from here uh, now when it comes here it will become not one not one means zero that means that record is not present okay so if that record is not present then it will execute this code otherwise it will display already existing otherwise that record is present okay so that is how we can achieve the functionality of displaying already existing uh, record or already exist record functionality okay using java sphinx and mysql server okay so uh, this is uh, everything about uh, searching functionality and displaying appropriate warning message as already existing okay so i hope you like this video i hope you got some useful and valuable information out of this video if you like this video click on like button share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching